What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm gonna be wholesaling real estate live in front of you. I'm gonna be calling motivated sellers, trying to lock up wholesale deals live in this video. And I might even call some cash buyers as well and try to sell some of the deals that we have under contract to cash buyers as well in this video. That being said, this video is gonna be value packed from the beginning all the way to the end. So make sure you stick around for the whole video. There's nothing more valuable than watching somebody actually run their wholesaling business live in front of you. So that way you can take the same skills that I'm using and implement them into your strategy. So that way you can have the same success in real estate that I'm having. So make sure you watch the whole video because it's gonna be super valuable. And then guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and reach more people. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe because my goal, my mission is to impact as many lives as possible. I wanna help as many people as humanly possible get into real estate and have success in real estate and change their life with it just like I've changed mine. So go subscribe to the channel so that way I can uh, reach that goal and that mission. Um, but with that being said guys, let's get right into it. Let me share my screen with you and show you exactly what I use uh, to wholesale and then from there I'll pick up the phone and start calling. Before I get started wholesaling real estate live in front of you, I wanna show you exactly what tools and resources I use when I'm wholesaling. So first off, when I'm sending an offer, I wanna make sure that you guys are using the same contracts that I use when I send an offer. So if you go to jacobblank.com slash free, there will be a link down below in the description for this. You'll be able to download my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free. So first off, make sure you go get that. The next thing and the main thing that I'm going to be using in this video is my CRM. It is my client relationship management system. So every single motivated seller that I'm working with is housed in this system. And this system handles your full wholesaling business. And it does so many amazing things. Let me go ahead and actually jump into the CRM and show you some of it. So there's all these different apps that handle each different part of your business. like your seller leads, your transactions, your dispo offers, your cash buyers, title companies, team members, key performance metrics, and so much more. But the main app that I'm gonna be using in this video is the seller leads app. And by the way, guys, if you want a full demo of this system, all you have to do is go to wholescalecrm.com and you'll be able to get a full demo of this system for free. There's a link down below in the description for that. I'm gonna just be going over the seller leads app for you guys to see. So when I'm calling motivated sellers, I'm gonna be working right here in the seller leads app in the CRM. And basically when you go out there and conduct marketing to find motivated sellers, once you find a motivated seller, they flow directly into the system and a seller lead profile is created for each and every motivated seller that you're working with. All their contact information, their name, address, their phone number, email is all gonna be stored here. The team member in your company that's working the lead is gonna be assigned to it. All the Zillow information is gonna automatically feed through from Zillow. It's gonna keep track of what marketing channel did this lead come from. Was it telemarketing? Was it a website lead? Was it SMS? Was it direct mail? It's also going to keep track of how many times you've tried to contact the seller. And each time you try to contact the seller and you weren't able to reach them, at the click of a button, it's automatically gonna send them a text and an email letting them know you tried to reach them. Next, it's gonna keep track of how many written and verbal offers you've made per week and per month. So that way you know how many offers you're making. It's also gonna categorize and put each seller into the bucket that they belong in. Is it a new lead? Is it interested? Is it not interested? Is it dead? So that way all your leads get organized by what status they're in. It's also gonna categorize them again by their temperature. Are they hot, warm, cold, or dead? It's also gonna organize your whole database and each seller is gonna go into the proper bucket for their motivation, which is so important. Are they a tired landlord? Was it death, divorce, probate? What is the reason that they're looking to sell the property? It's gonna organize your leads like that. And then guess what? It's gonna automatically follow up with your sellers for you. Yeah, this system is gonna send texts and emails on an ideal sequence, following up with your sellers for you. And then guys, when you're ready to send the seller an offer, no longer do you have to fill out the contract word by word. All you have to do is input a few pieces of information, click one button and it is gonna send the offer to the seller for them to sign so that way you can send more offers out, send more contracts out and lock up more deals. And as you're working with the seller on the right hand side, you're able to take all your comments and notes. So when I'm asking the seller about the condition of their property, I'm taking all my notes there on the right hand side. So that is just the seller leads app. 
that handles your acquisition side of your business. Again, there is all these other apps that handle every other part of your business in this whole scale CRM. So I highly recommend that you go get a full demo of it at wholescalecrm.com. Again, there will be a link down below in the description for that. So when I'm calling sellers and talking to them, I'm primarily gonna be working in that. And then once I need to look up their property to figure out what their property is worth and to find all the information about it, I'm gonna be using PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one wholesaling tool. It lets you search up any property across the country and it's gonna give you every piece of information about that property at your fingertips. So that way you can sound like an expert when you're talking to the seller. You're gonna be able to see the bed bath count, square footage, county information, tax information, uh, who owns it, all the information you could possibly need about the property so that way you can sound like an expert when talking to them. Also, it's gonna let you pull the comparable sale data in the area. So you're gonna be able to see what properties that are similar to the one you're looking at are selling for, and then from there, be able to calculate your offer. Which guys, you need to be able to see what other properties are selling for in order to get an accurate value of what the property is worth, and then from there, calculate your offer. PropStream also lets you pull motivated seller lists, conduct marketing, and do so much more. Guys, there's a link down below in the description for a seven day free trial of PropStream. Now, once I figure out what the property is worth based on running comps on PropStream, I then need to calculate my offer. And for that, I use my offer calculator. My offer calculator is available for purchase at jacobblank.com shop. There's a link down, down below in the description for that. This is what it looks like. Basically, when you find your comps on PropStream, you're gonna go ahead and plug those comps in on the calculator. You're gonna put in how much money you wanna make. You're gonna choose how much repairs does the property need, minor, average, major, or full remodel. You're gonna choose what market you're in, and then boom, it's gonna run all the math for you and calculate everything for you and spit out your MAO, your maximum allowed offer to make the seller. And it's also gonna give you an offer range to make the seller. So guys, if you're struggling to calculate what what to offer the seller. If you're struggling to figure out what to offer the seller where you're gonna be able to make money on the deal, I highly recommend that you go get this offer calculator from jacobblank.com shop. So those are the main things that I'm gonna be using when it comes to talking with motivated sellers and trying to lock up deals. And then the final thing that I wanna mention is guys, in these videos, sometimes I go ahead and I work on selling deals and I work on finding cash buyers for the deals that we have locked up. And the main platform that I use for dispositions, for selling deals and talking to cash buyers and finding cash buyers is InvestorLift. InvestorLift is a platform that gives you access to over 2 million active cash buyers across the country. So when it comes to selling deals and talking to cash buyers, this is the main platform that I am using. Um, there is a link down below in the description for InvestorLift where you can get a discount as well. And I have a couple other videos on my channel going over the investor lift platform in detail. So if you wanna check that out, go and do it. But um, that pretty much covers it because in this video and in these calling videos, I call motivated sellers to try to lock up deals and I call cash buyers to sell deals. And these are the different tools, resources, and software that I'm using to do it. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump on the phone and start calling. All right, guys, let's start calling. This first one is in Oklahoma. Let's see. All right. And we're we're dialing. There we go. I was calling to give you the offer. Either because you were. Let's double dial this one, guys. You always want to double dial because we want to get people on the phone today. Sometimes even triple dial. You just got to do it. <laughs> 
People don't be answering their phone these days, so you just gotta double dial them. It's just part of the game. I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. All right, this next one I sent an offer on already. Uh, it's going through probate. I'm just trying to get him to accept the offer. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two, five, four, two, three. We're going to double dial. Hey, calling you about that offer I made you for your property. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. On to the next one. This next one I made an offer on, Missouri. This one's also going through probate. <laughs> Double dial. I was calling about the offer that I made you for your property. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. On to the next one. This next one's in Iowa. Sometimes people just don't pick up the phone. You just got to keep smiling and dialing, guys. The person you're calling isn't accepting messages right now. It's about volume. The more calls you make, the more offers you give out, the more deals you're going to get. On to the next one. Send them a text and an email. This next one's in uh, Louisiana. Uh, actually, we're going to wait on following up with that seller. I'm going to wait a little bit. Please leave your message for Michael Leo. This next one's in Clarkdale. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a 
voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Double dial. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not... <laughs> On to the next one. This one's North Carolina. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Jimmy Snicket. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Jimmy, uh, we spoke about an offer for your property a little bit ago. Give me a call back. Thanks. On to the next one. This next one's North Carolina as well. Hey, was calling you about the offer I made you for your property. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. On to the next one. This next one's in California. <laughs> Some of these are follow ups. Calling up for floor, please leave me your name, number, and a brief message, and I will call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, I was calling you about the offer I made you for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. Please leave your message for Arnell Johnson. Hey, I made you an offer for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. Next one. Then we're going to switch over to some other calls. We're going to call a few buyers. 
Nobody's picking up the phone. Come on. Sometimes the person you have out. dialed is not able to receive call. Let me call this guy with my cell phone. You've reached. You've reached three three four six one four five two six eight. Gonna send him a text. All right, let's move on to some of these buyers. Hey, I was calling you about uh, the offer I made you for your property. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. Please leave your message for seven three two seven five two four. Hey, you were interested in our property that we had for sale on Oxford Street? Call me back if you're still interested. Thanks. You were interested in our property that we had for sale on Oxford Street in Philadelphia. Are you still interested in that, by chance? It was a little while ago. Uh, potentially. What was the address? Yeah, the address is... 907. Yeah, I just texted... I'm texting you all the deta details right now. Oh, yeah. I tried to get a hold of the uh, Jake. Yeah, that's me. Oh, what's going on, Jake? How are you, man? Doing good. We wound up selling it, and then the buyer's partner didn't fund the like the lender. He didn't he didn't fund the deal, and then the lender obviously wouldn't lend without the down payment. And then the guy was gonna fund it the next day, but then the lender had to redo the docs, and it fell apart. But we had a buyer in place, and then they fell apart. So now it's available again. So if you want to buy it, we could definitely make something happen. Yeah, can you send me photos again? Um, yeah, I just it's did. It's been a while since you last spoke. I just did. Did you get them? Uh, I'm on, I'm on the phone right now. I mean, if I can, I'll take a look at it and get back to you, Jake. But that, uh, yeah, just shoot me over the uh, um, the the Dropbox or Google Link Drive yeah. or whatever you have on your end, and I'll I'll recomp it again. And because um, I don't remember what I originally offered you guys. Uh, I think you were around. Our asking price is all I have right here in the notes. Understood. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Um. Yeah. Send over the details. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at it again and let you know. When are you trying to close this thing? As soon as possible. Can you close quick? I mean, I'm an agent. I work with. I work with investors that buy property cash, or my brokerage. We fund them with a hard money loan. Yeah. We need to close it like ASAP. Like seven days. Okay. Um, all right. Let me um, let me look at the photos and everything you sent over to me, and I can get you, I can get back in touch with Jake. Okay. Sounds good. I'll text you my cell phone number as well. All right. I appreciate it, Jake. Thanks so much. Yep. Bye. Sorry. All right. One more buyer to call on this deal. <laughs>
Hey, uh, you were interested in our deal that we had for sale on Oxford Street in Philadelphia. I wanted to see if you're still interested in buying that by chance. Hello? The guy hung up. Let's do this. Yo, what's up, bro? I'm, I'm smiling and dialing. You hear it. Let's go. All right, back to Colin Sellers. This one's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay. What's up? Um, I'm just filming. Yeah, I just spoke with uh, the, the buyer on... Uh, Oxford Lane, he said you tried calling him, so he called back and I answered. Uh-huh. Uh, Is he, he interested? Yeah, he said he's going to take a look, run some numbers, but he asked, um, he asked if, if we do... If Hello? Hey, I'm calling about the offer that I made you for your property there on uh, 412 Tahoe. How are you doing today? I am actually at the grocery store right this second. <laughs> oh, so it's about... I'm doing okay. Um, yeah, can you give me a call back in like an hour? Yeah, just or can I call you back? Cause yeah. I'm running with grocery shopping. Yeah, just quick question. I know you said you didn't want to sell the property for like three months. Are you getting any closer to making making a decision on selling it? Not really. Okay, I'll follow Not up really. with you then in, I, in a I'm couple trying, weeks. I'm trying to purchase it. I'm trying to purchase it myself, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. But I mean, uh, yeah, if you could just call me back like after the store, that would be great. Okay, I will do that. Thank you okay, so much. I have an appointment at three, so. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right, thank Bye. you. Hey. Tomorrow. Okay. I'm, they're going to have to hold it for a few days because I'm going to California tomorrow morning. Super early. Uh, Newport, Laguna Beach area. Yeah. Yeah, so it should be fun. I'm excited. So, all right. Thanks so much. No, not for work, for fun. <laughs> yep. Oh, um, that was my landlord. I moved, landlord. Yeah, I got my full security deposit back. Okay, what's up about this deal? Um, buyer called, uh, yeah. Sean talked to the buyer. Guys, Sean is becoming Dispo. I'm yeah. switching Sean from sales guy to Dispo guy, and he's gonna be selling the deals. Let's yes, let's hear it. Fuck, he asked me a question, but I already forgot. He asked, uh, we do hard money or cash. We cash. want them to pay cash. We need a quick close, so. Okay. As long as he can close in seven days, he can use hard money. Okay, so that's what I, okay, that's what I said. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Usually I'm hard sure money can ask. close quick. Okay. Normal loans take 30, 45 days type stuff. Okay. Um, okay. Let's keep calling sellers. You're calling your leads? Not buyers? Yeah. Throw that in the notes on the dispo sheet. Go on the dispo sheet and throw in notes on that guy. calling about the offer I made you for your property. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. <laughs> what sheet? I can't hear you. I did. Come here. Hey, um, yeah, this is Jacob Blank calling. All right, no answer on that, seller. Let's move on to the next one.
I can't hear you. Oh, yeah, I got you with that. The mailbox is full and cannot accept. No answer. We're going to double dial. <laughs> Please leave a message. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at Why are no sellers answering today? Alright, let's give this guy a call. Hey, is this Henry? No, this is Lee. Hey, Lee, it's Jacob calling. We spoke about your property in Paradise Valley a little while ago. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, I know that uh, Henry said you all wanted to wait till, you know, summer. Um, and uh, now it's, you know, the 1st of May or the 2nd of May. So I just wanted to check in with you guys, see if you were thinking about that property anymore we're, we're, we're thinking about it all the time oh I've been thinking about it all the time too because I want to buy it <laughs> we, we haven't we haven't been able to come to a reasonable conclusion as to how to handle the sale gotcha all right well um you know like I said before I'm willing to find a price that works for the both of us pay cash for it close on it and however however quickly you want me to and if you guys wanted to leave all the furniture behind in it I could do deal with that and if you wanted me to mail ship certain things back to you guys in New Jersey I could do that as well so that way y'all don't even have to come to town yeah and yeah, we can it do it sounds per it all sounds great and it all sounds like it would work out it's just a matter of getting getting you know our asses in gear and getting out there somehow well like I said you wouldn't even have to come out necessarily he won't do that he, he won't do that which I understand and I, and I would love to meet you guys there face to face and you got a lot of stuff out there that we we don't need we absolutely don't need it but do we want to just discard it no we don't want to do that gotcha um, so we at least want to get out there and touch it and decide where to dis distribute it and get rid of it, but we sure don't need it. Yeah. <coughs> I understand. Well, okay, thank you for the call. Yeah, good to touch base with you, and uh, just just know I'm still interested, and uh, I guess I'll... And uh, he clicked. That's a great deal on Scottsdale Road, right by Fashion Square. I'm trying to buy that for me to personally live in it. So trying to build rapport. Uh, last time I spoke to them, I had like a three hour phone call with them. So we're just uh, working through that one. He's 92 years old, the guy I was on the phone with, and then the other guy is 96. Um, so slow rolling when it comes to making decisions selling it getting it done it's a it's a process
Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four, eight, seven, six, one, zero, zero is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, calling you about the property that you were looking to sell uh, in Scottsdale on 56th place. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, this is Jacob calling. We spoke a few weeks ago or maybe like a month ago about your property there in Scottsdale and your interest in possibly selling it. I just wanted to follow up with you and see if you've given that any more thought. Nope. All right, let's call some more of these Facebook leads. This one's in Nevada. Sean! Sean, come here! Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website for Gilded Lantern yeah. Avenue. Awesome. How you doing today? Okay. I'm fine. Go. What's the what's the offer? Yeah, I just need to ask you a couple more questions real quick, and then I can make you the offer. How old is the roof on it? Uh, original. Twenty years old. Okay. What about the air conditioning unit? Uh, original. All right, and then as far as the interior, units. original AC units. You have two two AC units. Yep. Okay. Actually, there's three. Okay, and then as far as um, the interior, is it in pretty good shape on the inside, or could it use some work? Yeah, it's excellent. You can actually see uh, all the pictures on uh, on the Realtor.com or uh, or RentHop. Okay. Go to Red Hop. Those are the most recent pictures. RedHop.com, I believe it is. Did you just and buy it um, back in? Uh, What's that? Did you just buy it in uh, April of 2022? Okay. And so everything on the inside is pretty much the same as then. Uh, yeah, because the pictures are the most recent on Red Hop. Okay. Because the the, the 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 ones on the Realtor are the ones on that is when I bought it, and then I. Turn it over to make it into a rental and we repainted the interior wall one color. Okay. It's a tan. So that, that's the, the, pretty much the difference. Okay. Did you have a price in mind you were looking to get for it? Uh, as is? Yeah, yeah as yeah. is. We cover all closing costs. Was there a number you were looking to get? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, cash right now? Uh -huh. uh, 800000 Okay. Um, let's see if we'd be able to do that for you. Um, what's the reason you're looking to sell it? <clears throat> I'm 75 years old. I'm getting out of the rental business. Gotcha. We wouldn't be too far off from 800, but since you side to the main road, we'd probably need to be in the high sevens. Would you consider no, something? Okay. No, no, no. Even I, that's my actually eight hundred is my rock bottom price because what I'm doing is I'm moving forward already. I, I'm 
preparing it because I'm going to end up just listing it and out there and get get over 900 and something for it. So you know, but all, all my expenses will go towards paying realtor costs and the, you know right. and all that stuff. And that's why I've got the rock bottom, the rock bottom price of 800 if you want to do this deal today or tomorrow. That's it. Okay. It's as simple as that. Okay. Let me yeah. look at. Uh, so you do have the pool, and uh, I look looking at the aerial view photo on the satellite view on Google Maps. Yeah. The pool is green. Is that yeah. is that the case still? Is the pool green right now, or have you? Uh, yeah, that, 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 no. That, yeah, the pool beach actually it was uh, vandalized. Uh, uh, also, uh, the pool equipment was stolen. So that's one of the issues. So that's why the price is at eight hundred. Because uh, if I if I go ahead and move forward and get that that. Uh, get that pool put in new equipment, uh, then that's what I, I'm moving forward to doing. Yeah, I and hear I'm, you. I'm, I'm going to list it. Yeah. That makes sense. So, okay. I'm trying to avoid all of that and, and give give it to somebody else, and and that's why uh, there is a, 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 that kind of money in there for it. No, I totally understand. That makes sense. Okay. Um, let me look at one more thing here real quick. Um Go. Do, do. All right. Um, let's see. How soon do you want to close? Uh, anytime. As soon as possible. Okay. My utilities are on. I'm hey, paying um, a so mortgage payment. I'm paying property taxes. So usually the the quickest we close in is uh, we we do 21 day closes. Would that work for you? They're regular days, not uh, not business days. Uh, 21 days from now, yeah. So that's, that's, that's still this month. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't get uh, uh, incur any more. I I mean I'd have to stop moving forward with with you know. Then you get ready for a sale. Okay, and these rent how these rent photos. This is before the tenant went in there, or is it still in just as good of shape on the inside as these photos? Yes, 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 yes. yes. The only difference with those photos is the is, 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 is the pool. The house is the same. Okay, so you nothing, nothing it, other yeah. than nothing other than the pool was vandalized, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. You want to, you want to consider... Have, just, uh, by the way, I also have an uh, inspection report uh, that I just put, uh, two weeks ago had done by Wynn Home Inspection you, at my cost. So. You want to consider 790 on it? Uh, no, no, I, because I... I I, I would send you an offer right now, 790 cash as is. We cover all closing costs and we'll close on it on, let's see. We'll close on it on the 24th. Uh, no, I, I don't want to waste your time. Because I've, I, you know, I've already, I've got like 800, you know, I paid 850 for that house. Yeah. I'm already taking a beating at 800, okay? And, and the property has gone up there and I've got cost, you know. Uh, it's, what about yeah i don't know what your, your intentions are with to do with it or whether are you are you do you represent a flipper or do you represent a corporate so we we flip and we, we yeah. flip we flip and we hold properties um this will probably yeah. do a remodel on it and resell um or hold it but i think my mm -hmm. I, i'm running our calculations here and it wants me to be under 800 a bit but but we're 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 super close here. Uh, uh seven ninety nine. Uh, how about what if you met? Well, I'm not trying to be funny, but how about you know. seven ninety two five? No, that's 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 uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, uh, I, I no uh, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't go that. Uh, Maybe seven ninety seven. Okay, meet me. Meet me in the middle. I'm at seven ninety. You're at eight. Let's call it seven ninety five. I'll send you the offer right now. Uh, 
Wow, I, I uh, don't want wait. I think that's fair. Uh, well, yeah, but I haven't seen a contract. I haven't seen your contract. What, 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 well, what else, else is involved in? I mean, nothing. I mean, we we buy it as is. We pay all closing costs, and we'll close on the twenty fourth. I said, yeah. Okay, and you're saying you close on twenty fourth. Yeah, of May. And, uh, yeah, and is it your contract, uh, are you going to send me a contract to with that? Yes, yes, that's all going to be in there. Read, I mean, how you... Yes. Because I, I got a contract from one offer, uh -huh. uh, actually at, at 795, but I read the contract and it, uh, it, 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 it's with a 30-day contract. And then, uh, of course, there were a lot of caveats, and one, there, one in particular said that uh, there was uh, no, I mean, there was $1,000 only earnest money, and if they canceled, if they did not, uh, or something didn't work out, they canceled, they were allowed to cancel on the last day. Uh, we're, we're not able to cancel on the last day. You'll read our contract. There's nothing like that in there. I, we, we do $1,000 earnest money, though. Is that okay? A thousand earnest money. That's pretty what we our company does on pretty much every contract that we do. It's hard yeah, to get. This sounds like yeah. This sounds very some some, some similar to. Uh, well, no. When you see the, our uh, contract that I send to you right now, you'll see that, that that that's not the case. There's no like, there's no like thirty day inspection contingency. There's none of that. Okay. Uh, I guess I read that yeah, yeah. Let me send it to your email. So the email that I have on file for yeah. you is. Uh, yeah, that's right. But uh, couldn't we? Uh, you know, I feel a lot better at, at seven ninety seven. I can't. I, I I think it's fair. I mean, realistically, seven eighty is where my math came out. I tried to adjust the numbers a little bit. Seven ninety. You're at 800, I'm at 790. We meet in the middle of 795, we call it a deal. I'm buying it in as is condition and I'm covering all the closing costs. I mean, at the end of the day, when I get this closed, I'm gonna be over 800 anyways, when it's all said and done. And, and, and there's no commissions, no nothing. No commissions, so no I, nothing. I, so I get eight, eight, uh, eight, uh, no, I get 795. In your pocket, 795 Four. net to you in your pocket, yes sir. Well, what, what about the more, uh, the loan? Well, that comes There's out of it, obviously. Anything you owe on the property is going to be taken out of the seven ninety five. Yeah, that's three hundred and forty thousand left on that. Right. And it's up to five point so I don't know. I guess that's not uh, interesting to you anyway. That rate, that rate's yeah. not so great. I mean, how? Okay, how much is the loan amount? Three? You said three forty. Yeah, three forty. For how many years left on the note? Oh, it's a new note. That's just that when I bought the house. How many? Yeah, how many years are left on it? Oh, Sorry. I guess twenty-eight. If it's a thirty-year mortgage, yeah, it's thirty years, so twenty-eight years. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I, I think we'll just, there's no value there in taking over your mortgage, really. What, what's, well, what's your PITI, your, your payment every month with taxes and insurance included? Oh, I don't know about insurance. What's your total uh, mortgage know. every month? The mortgage is one, one nine, uh, one nine six, one nine six, 1960. Okay. And what does it rent for? Uh, when it was rented, it was uh, five five thousand. Five thousand a month. Yeah. All right. Let me look real quick at uh, one other thing. The rental comps. Let's see. But I think I don't. I don't think that we would want to take over your mortgage on this. Let me make sure though. Um, but are you able to open up your email while we're on the phone? Because I'm just about to send that over. Uh, well, uh, I can try. Hang on. Okay. I can get my. I'll do it off off my laptop. Hang on. Perfect.
All right, I just sent it over. It'll say right signature national home buyers. Sometimes it uh, goes go for like you know maybe it's with do we do the gun to spam? No, just maybe re wonder. refresh because I just sent it. It might not have shut up yet. Um, okay, I just heard something. Okay, hang on. It should say right signature. Yeah. National Home Buyers has sent you the document to sign. Okay, I'm trying to fish. No, not yet. Go up the light. There's a, you keep hearing something, but uh, uh, let's see, maybe it's. Uh, I'm going to check. Sometimes it does T thrive for the no. Mm. Oh, here it's it's in recent thing deleted, so it went there. Re right, right signature national there we go. buyer. Yep. So I'm Perfect. opening it now. Perfect. All right, so open it up and let me know when you see purchase agreement for real estate at the top of your screen, and I'll go over it with yeah. you real quick. Okay. 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 Got to maneuver through this. Okay. I, I got to move it out of region when they delete it into new mail, so I can. Okay. Uh, you know, nowadays they put so much stuff on here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now I'll try it. I'm nothing to see. What's going on here? Yeah, so click on review and sign, and it's not going to sign it. Okay. It's going to just open it up, and then you have the option to sign it or not. So once you click that, okay. you should see purchase agreement for real estate now at the top of your screen. Let me know if you do. Um, waiting for it. Oh, yeah, but I can hardly, it's not clear. It's very, very, Maybe. Like a shove. Oh, here, okay. Okay. I click on it again. Okay. All right, you see it now, the document? Yeah, so this agreement yeah, is made now. today. Yeah between you and our company for the property address. And um, then it says property description, as is condition. This includes any permanent fixtures like trees in the front yard. They gotta stay with the property. We're oh gonna, yeah. Anything, yep. Yeah. Yep, so just permanent fixtures need to stay. And then uh, we're gonna be buying mm -hmm. it for that 795 cash. The earnest money is a thousand. Number one, all the closing costs, attorney fees, title fees, transfer fees are to be paid by the buyer. So we're covering all the closing costs. Two, any taxes, liens, or mortgage you owe on the property would come out of the 795. Again, we're buying it in as-is condition. And then four, you seller to provide us permission to access the property. Sometimes we need to walk through it once or twice. Um, this offer is contingent on clear title. Um, so a, a title search and survey is gonna be ordered promptly by the buyer. Defects, seller warrants of the property is free from hazardous substances, so there's no dangerous chemicals. Risk yeah. of loss, if somehow the property is damaged prior to transfer, we can still buy it. No judgments, seller warrants that there's no judgments threatening the equity in the property and that there's no pending bankruptcy. And then 12, process, tells you a little bit about how we got to our offer price. Buyer arrived at the offer price by carefully evaluating current market values, estimating expenses, and making projections on possible profits. Acceptance, this becomes binding when signed by both of us. This makes up the entire agreement and I have the close there for the 24th. Um, obviously, you can take your time looking through it and just let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yep. I, I, can't, I can't read it and I'm, I'm not multitasking uh, where I can read it and listen at the same time. So yeah. I, I need to read this. Yes, story. sir. But that's just a quick overview um, of it. It's a simple two-page as-is agreement. Um, I can stay on the line if you want to read it over slowly and ask me questions as you go. Do you want to do that? 
Well, well, we can try that for now. Okay, uh, sounds okay. good. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down though. Per perfect, put the phone down, know. I'll stand by, and if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Okay. Uh, let me try to read Closer this shit. This is how it's done. Closer shit. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. Don't let those people fool you. Okay. Okay, I'm not still reading it. What was your name again? Yeah, my name's Jacob. And you you found us on iBuyAmer. Yeah, you found us on um, cashoffer.com. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think through, I hit two of those today. Yeah, through Facebook, yep. Subject to buyer's financial partner's approval. So really, this contract is really not. It still has a lot of contingencies. I mean, I ran our numbers to a T, and I and I can send yeah. it back to the underwriting office and get approval. But when with when when I use our calculator and I get an approval on price, we're good to go. Yeah. But yeah, our company ha leave, has that in the agreement. Yes. But, but when I get an approval through our calculator and I do the full CMA, the comparative market analysis in the area, we're good to go on it. Okay. Here's another one that you can clarify for me, Jason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, number seven says the title report and survey, if, if required, will be ordered promptly and, and if not available on the settlement date, then at buyer's discretion, su settlement may be delayed to obtain the title report and survey after which this contract at the option of the buyer yeah. will be terminated and deposits will be refunded. So, so that's a, if that's if you don't yeah, that's yeah. if you don't have clear title. So if we get the title search back and there is liens yeah. and judgments on it that can't be removed, that can't be fixed, if title can't be cleared, okay. then obviously we're gonna cancel. You don't have a conveyable title. So that's what it's saying there. We can't just cancel for no reason. We can only cancel there if the title is not ever going to be able to be cleared. And then as far as it being delayed, this is more like if you're in a rural market, you're in a major market. So getting a title search back from the county won't take more than seven days. So that's not going to be an issue. Okay, here's another one, Jacob. Number eight says, seller agrees to let buyer market the property on the MLS and any other marketing channel. So that means during this period of time, the 21 days, you're going to market this thing. It doesn't mean that we're necessarily yeah. going to market it now. It's more of a privacy disclosure for eventually your yeah. property is going to be on the market. And sometimes we do pre-market properties. So that way we can get our prospective buyer. It, so sometimes we have a program where they get to choose their finishes, like their flooring, their countertops, and then we get a premium from them by them designing it and then we sell to them or we pre-market to find a tenant right away so that's why that's in there we we need the ability to do that but um we're not marketing it to sell it in advance per se no okay uh here's another i this is about uh, i'm reading but then my mind is going elsewhere remember i mentioned that i just two weeks ago i had the win uh, home inspection report time. Yeah. At, at my expense, that cost me seven hundred fifty dollars. I have it on. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A, a digital. Yeah. You know, or would you be interested in seeing that? Would that help you? Would that help you raise the price <laughs> a little bit? No, I mean, since you have it, I'd love for you to send it over, but it, I can't pay you any more than seven ninety five for this property. There's no way. 
unfortunately. I wish I could. For me, it's not Understood. like for me, I try to get from our company as much money as I can for you. But there's no way they're going to we're going to be able to do higher than 795, unfortunately. Okay. When, when do you plan to make a physical inspection? We always do one two days before closing. Oh, that's it? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Because I'm using this thing here and it says uh, risk or loss of said property damage to prior to transfer to title and uh, no wear and tear. Buyer has the option to either cancel his contract or proceed where Yeah, so goes. that's like if there was a fire or something crazy happened. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Okay. Uh, let me concentrate again. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not on a, a slow reader, right? Away. Yeah, you're good. Like, no worries. You're good. No worries. Well, I, 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 you know, I'm 70, I'm almost 75 years old. <laughs> so, I have to read slowly. Okay. Hang on, Jacob. I'm going to concentrate again. Come in, it should be open. I'm filming, what's up? We're getting in seller sign. Yeah, you were, are you on the call right now? Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you were knocking on my door, you said you needed to tell me something? Oh. Food, shortly. I don't know though, but yeah, once okay. this guy signs. Yeah, I'm starving. Hopefully he signs. Yeah. Is, it, is it a good deal? Locking in for 7.95. The the Zestimate's 8.50. Or nine mm -hmm. nine twenty. He oh. bought it for eight fifty two years ago. So I think we can sell it. Yeah. And make Please. make something. It's in Nev Just get the Nevada. Pictures, I think we can sell it to a hedge fund. Get the pictures, I'll start blasting it. I'll send it to everyone. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jacob, uh that's uh, gotta be one of the simplest uh contracts I've ever read. Well, everything about the process of selling your home to us is pretty easy from the contract to, to the rest of it. So, yep. Well, it just says yeah. what we're going to do. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it for this price and we're going to buy it as is and we're going to cover the closing costs. And that's it. Wow. And, uh, wow, that's uh, quite uh, different from the other contracts I've seen. And, okay. Um, so, uh, I can't decide. I've got to have some, a little bit of time to think at least the rest of the day to think about this. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I, you know, you can't ever rush things. In the meantime, can I send you the, uh, the, 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 uh, the report? Yeah. Let me... Um... Here, is this, yeah. this is your cell phone, right? So I can text you my email? Yes, yes. All right. You, you mean I can't send it to this email that you, that the copy me uh, this? No, let me, let me or, give you the, the, I don't, I'm not sure that that'll get back to me. So let me, let me give you my okay. the email. I just texted you it. At contracts? No, nhb. X yep. At gmail. Yes, sir. Dot com. Okay, and is, is this your good best phone number? Um, let me give you my direct line, my cell phone actually. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, it's... Okay, it's 480, could I ask? Yeah, our headquarters is in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm out here. Oh, that's an Arizona. Yep, I'm out here okay. in Scottsdale. I was just in Vegas yeah. though, um, for UFC 300. Which was fun. Oh, you're a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan. fan then? Yeah, I'm a fan. It was fun. It was crazy. Did you watch any of that? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm not into uh, fighting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's too, yeah. uh, it's too much for me to watch. Too much. Uh, yeah. Too much jail. For real, it's <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's something. Um, okay. Yeah, I've seen, I mean, I've seen sorts of, of, of those things, but it's just, wow, I mean, I don't know how people can, you know, it's one thing like boxers and stuff with the padded gloves and, 
But yeah. the UFC, I mean, that's, that's like Muay Thai, uh, Thai boxing. Yeah, it's crazy. One guy got that's knocked good. out so bad that he didn't get up for like five minutes. Everybody was worried that he was dead. It was crazy. It was yeah, crazy. I'm sure that's almost certain death. So, yeah. I mean, uh, I would never. Uh, yeah, I, I could never. Yeah. Um, okay, well, great. So you have my contact information. Do you have any other questions at this time? Uh, no, I want you to look, you know, I, 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 I'm a, like, a, like an open book kind of a guy, you know. I, that's why I want to send you the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the women's special report. Yeah, and send I, me that, and, then, uh, and I'll look that over. And, and can I also send to your cell phone? I, I have a couple of pictures that... Uh, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I just I just I just did the garage too, and that's another reason why I'm asking. Uh, you painted the garage, uh, the garage repainted uh, because it was you know now I now it was new. Yeah. And I had the uh, floor redone in epoxy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's very epoxy, and I want to, you know, I don't know if that would help us. Yeah. If you can send me those two as well, that would be good. Yeah. And then, um, th as far as the plaster on the pool, that's fine. It's just it just needs equipment, right? Well, it needs it, it needs full equipment, and I've got a bid on that too. But the pool has been drained, and it, it, uh, it's 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 possible the, uh, the the contractor that I'm talking to, he's only put in a, he he only did it. Uh, as uh, as requiring uh, an acid wash and okay, perfect, et cetera, you know. perfect, perfect. But, but I I I can I, I can tell you I can see uh, that the plant some there's some little bubbling on on parts of the plaster. Okay. Yeah. No main yeah, no, there's, there's, no no cracks or it's not too bad, right? No 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 no. It's just that I think being exposed for all this long. As a matter of fact, I mentioned that to the contractor. He says, well, what do we do after we do the acid wash as long as it hasn't gone any, you know, penetrated? Yeah, you don't want to leave a pool it. empty, though, like that. Uh, you know, it, it, yeah, even if it's right. better almost uh, to leave it green because it, with the, with the heat, ruins them, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But it's been draining already, you see, and that's why you can see that. Yeah. So, and, and that's why I've, I've contacted him and then getting a quote and stuff like that. Uh, you know, to, to put it back into service. Yeah. All right. Well, um, well, that sounds good. So email me that. I'll look that over, and then I'll give you a call back in a couple hours, and then hopefully we can make this happen. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah, sounds good, Jacob. I'm, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to send you that report, and then I'll text. I mean, and then I'll send you a couple of the pictures. Perfect. So, uh, also, the front. Uh, I, I just had the, uh, the front... Uh, Trimmed and everything, you know the uh, the, 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 oh, the landscape. All right. Well, that yeah. sounds that sounds yeah. great. Yeah. I appreciate it. I was preparing. I'm preparing it to list to see. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so, sounds uh, good. Um, it was good to meet so you. Yeah. yeah, good to meet you. Good yeah, to talk about the house and uh, and I'll call you in a couple hours and we'll see what we can do. Great. Thank All right. You, thank you. Yep. Bye. 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 All right, guys. I'll try to call that one in a couple hours and lock it up. But right there, I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys found it valuable, me calling sellers and buyers on this video. So that way you can take that, take those skills, implement them into your business and have success in real estate as well. Remember, guys, there's links in the description down below for every single tool and resource that I use in my wholesaling business. So make sure to check out the links down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the red button and subscribe and make sure you like the video. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.